Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love reading for all zodiac signs. I do want to apologize. I know I'm a little bit behind. I've been extremely busy. Uh, you guys just keep me <laughs> really busy, especially around this time of year. Uh, thank you guys for all of you guys who have came to me for spell work, uh, for candle magic, for private consultations. It makes me completely thrilled uh, to hear from you guys and to see that you guys are getting quick results. I am so excited and thrilled about that. So thank you guys very much for coming to me for guidance um, and all, all that. So anyways, let's get into this reading. If you're interested in private consultations, look at the description box below. For those of you guys that have sent me emails and I have yet to answer, please be a little bit patient. There's just one of me. <laughs> and I, like I said, I've been extremely busy. I have to go through all my, not just my emails, but, you know, I do have other social media outlets where everybody communicates with me through those as well. So please be a little bit patient in regards to that. Um, so anyways, let's get into your reading. This is going to be Aries. Aries was one of the videos with the most views. So that's the reason why it's going up um, with the first six uh the first six signs okay so anyways let's get into this reading comment like and share if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe I've been shuffling the cards for quite a while and you have the ace of cups here that popped out so let's get into the reading you have the ace of cups the queen of cups the queen of pentacles and the hanged man your partner's cards the six of cups the queen of wands the high priest the strength card okay and let me pull out the current situation of your relationship spirit please give me current situation for aries for the month of november 2017 regarding the love five okay it is the star card wow okay all right aries you have the star card here so as a uh current situation the star card does definitely represent a hope or a desire or the manifestation of your desire so with that pretty much uh, the star card is all these stars are aligning all the planets are aligning to bring to you universe is bringing to you the opportunities that you've been hoping for or you've been desiring it can also represent that you're dealing with an Aquarius uh, could be Sun moon or rising as well okay now you have the ace of cups here the ace of cups uh, I, first of all I do want to mention off the bat you have three queens here okay so queens usually represent rumors when there is more than two queens um, there's definitely a lot of rumors or a lot of people trying to get into the relationship or get involved in the relationship so this could be both you or your partners uh, friends it could be people that you guys you know communicate with uh, etc um, my point to this is basically in regards to love and romance the less people know about your relationship the better so what i mean is pretty much when it's fine for people to know you know and make it make it public even when you're in a relationship there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but the moment you start allowing people to opinionate in regards to your relationship or in regards to your partner you kind of open the door uh for everybody to take a you know closer glimpse into your relationship and to give you opinions and put shit in your head that is unnecessary so just be mindful about that and be careful okay now you do have the ace of cups for some of you areas you're currently or uh currently are dealing with the person again it could be an i see all signs here so uh for some of you guys it could be an aquarius for others it could be a water sign cancer pisces uh scorpio for others queen of pentacles um could be earth sign taurus virgo capricorn um for others another fire sign which would be a leo i do see a leo here as the strength card is here virgo i see all signs here you guys so um just take the messages the way they come okay so anyways uh there is a new beginning in regards to your love and romance for some of you guys you guys uh, currently are dealing with or have been dealing with a water sign could be their moon sun or rising um this is the queen of cups the queen of cups definitely represents a, a loving type of energy but i'm feeling it more on the reverse position so it could represent their shadow side so water sign uh you know pretty much vibrating to the shadow side could be a person that's very manipulative be very careful about that if you guys are dealing with a water sign from the past uh and you do have children or there's children involved 
be very careful in regards to that um, because I feel that they are very manipulative and they're trying the best they can to pretty much, um, you know, kind of use the children as an excuse to mess with your life a little bit in regards to finances. So uh, it could be through child support. It could be, uh, you know, them finding out that you're actually making more than the last time they knew and they actually put that in to the child support, that type of, you know, drama. Uh, queens always do represent drama, especially when it's more than two. So be careful about that. Now, uh, the Queen of Pentacles here, definitely there's stability coming through for you, Aries, in regards to love and romance. The hanged man could represent a moment of feeling stuck or a moment of seeing things uh, with a whole different perspective. For, for some of you, Aries, I feel that m maybe in the past you guys came or became a little bit more what's the word um almost uh you guys became very what's the word i'm looking for very uninterested on the deeper levels aspect in regards to relationships so that could mean um that you guys were just interested in sexually being active with partners but not really wanting a relationship or having fear of attachments uh, based on the past that perhaps you felt like the person from the past that you were dealing with uh, used you in a certain way. So it could have been money-wise, it could have been emotionally, it could be psychologically that they damaged you, that they kept repeating all your insecurities till they got to the point where you actually felt vulnerable and decided not to open up or give yourself up um, to the opportunity of finding new love although i do see those things quickly changing for you guys because you do have the ace of cups here and the hanged man and they're right at the corner so what that means is you changing your perspective in regards to love and romance now how your partner's viewing the situation the six of cups again like i said i feel for some of you guys that have been dealing with the person from the past it could be a baby mama it could be a father uh baby father i mean um, if there is children involved, I feel that this person is definitely trying to communicate, um, because they're trying to get more help from you. And I feel that m help, I mean, money wise. Okay. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing what you have to do to take care of your kids. I'm all for that, but there is a limit and there is a point where people start to take, you know, overtake advantage of that situation. Um, the queen of wands here, again, I feel that there's, per, there's people, there's a lot of people getting involved in this relationship. Now it could be two things. It could be that you have an ex-girlfriend, sorry, an ex-wife or an ex-husband. And finally you're starting to deal with the person and trying to take it to the next level. And there is a rumor flying around about you moving on, basically redoing your life, etc. And they may turn if they were, you know, if they had been maintaining themselves at bay, they may return with drama only to steer things up based on the news or the information that they got that you're moving on. And that's where the little bit of spitefulness comes in. Okay. So you guys be careful with that. Again, like I said, there's nothing wrong with making a relationship known, but at the same time, don't allow people to know so much about that relationship because again, it definitely does affect the relationship when other people are getting involved. For some of you guys, it could be that your mother is not okay with the person that you're dealing with or have been dealing with, um, or a mother figure. It could be grandmother. It could be a person that raised you. It could be an aunt, just a mother figure in general um, that is not okay with this relationship. And I feel that for some of you guys, you guys are thinking of taking it to the next level or even you know committing to this person or even an engagement coming along because the Queen of Pentacles does represent the solidity uh you know, finally being able to solidify and, you know, n not just make it public, but also take a commitment with it, uh, as the high priest is here. So the high priest is all about, uh, marriage in regards to, uh, when you take it to the next level. So again, um, I feel that there, there's going to be a lot of information being, uh, coming up. Uh, for some of you guys, you guys just recently started dating, but you're already thinking or making plans of marriage. Um, and it's kind of throwing off the people that are in your life. So it could be, again, like I said, a mother figure that's not okay with it or that they feel that you're moving on too fast or moving forward with the plans very quickly. The strength card here definitely represents, again, like I said, you having not having the best of luck in regards to love and romance. 
but you were able to champ through it and things are quickly changing. For those of you guys that are currently single or have been single for a while, you have the star card here. So finally, there's an opportunity in regards to love and romance. It could be with the water sign again, like I said, or if the water sign was a person from the past um, and this queen of pentacles that you're currently dealing with uh, could be both male or female. Please understand that it's a general reading. Um, they're kind of changing the perspective in regards to love and romance for you. Now, this person may be attached with children. Um, it could be a, you know, um, it could be a woman that has children or it could be a, a, you know, a man that has children, but they definitely have the courage and they definitely have, you know, pretty much paid their way, um, made themselves, they're very structured, um, and they know exactly what they want. I definitely do see commitment here. Uh, coming forward I would say probably by January there's definitely commitment either engagements or marriages for some uh, the strength card here definitely represents again like I said uh, even through all the rumors or the chaos or people just wanting to know um, you guys are going to be able to jump through it and move forward in a positive aspect because you do have the star card there so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading comment like and share if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and we'll see each other uh, soon